Uh, there is a difference between what I call conversion and lead generation. Okay, conversion means you impress the girl through like and trust. Attention means you need to drive your car to the bar and check out which girl you want to uh, end up with. You guys getting this? <laughs> Some of you are laughing at it. What are you talking about? Right? Okay, Con conversion is basically making the person trust you to buy. Pretty much like you buy a drink, you show, show off your, your Omega watch, <laughs> which I don't have, okay. or flash your BMW to convert her to become your girlfriend. But lead generation is like, before you even convert her, you need to get in touch with her in the first place. You drive your BMW or your Vira or your Kanchil or your motorbike, or you walk to the bar. That is a lead generation. You generate uh, an opportunity for, or a new girl for you to hang out with. Lead generation, I'm generating a new opportunity. So, conversion and lead generation in business is two very important concepts. Okay? If you, you are very good in converting people, but you don't know how to even get to the girl in the first place, how to convert. Maybe you are very good in what you do, like, okay, I may be good in, uh, let's say, gardening. So people see me gardening, very good means I'm very good, or, and they, they feel that they can trust me, but how do I even get people to see that I'm good? That is lead generation. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, so two different processes. Huh? Uh, Carol, you're laughing. I'm saying something wrong. See, I'm a six again. Uh, thank, uh, thanks, huh? thanks. Uh, are you really sure I'm good? See, I'm a six again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys understand conversion and lead generation. Some people are really good at what they do, okay, but they don't know how to get clients, okay, because or get prospects. Sorry, get prospects. Correct. Some people are very good in prospecting, but they fail in conversion. To be successful in business, you need to be both lah. You can get the girl initially but you don't know how to convert her to take the ring also no point correct so how do you do it online uh, this is a model which i've developed called blue tail huh? okay why blue tail is because i'm trying to con co co combine blue ocean strategy and long tail huh? but i'm just making it corny and name it blue, blue tail huh? okay so it's uh, it's like i differentiate myself which is good for good for business okay um do your website have these components? This is a conversion mechanism, huh? not lead generation mechanism. You guys getting this? Huh? Conversion means this is my house. Once you get in, I will, I will know what to do with you. Wow. You guys don't get the joke now. Oh <laughs> what, why did I say that? Okay. If you come to my turf, which is my website domain, I will know what to do with you to build trust and send you to the payment page. You guys understand what I'm saying? That's conversion. Okay. Do you have a blog? I'm just going to run through a few questions. If you don't have a blog, that means your website is not pretty much not alive and not updated. Because blog is the human part of your website. Remember those websites where it has about us, contact us, product services, and all these are very, very, very strange and robotic and very cool, like a catalog like that. It's not even human to me. And you bring traffic from Facebook, which is very human one. Suddenly come to your web page about us, contact us, product services. How do you feel? Yeah. It's like no more fun already from Facebook, very fun, 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 fun. Suddenly come to your website, so serious. Huh? Uh, ABC Sundar Harbor has been founded in 1978 and we have close to 100,000 people. Uh, the founder is called Mr. Vincent Chang. He's a very boring person and he has been in the business for 33 years. Do you think people really want to read those things? You send them to the blog first, lah. Okay, ABC Sandra Bahad has just launched a new product, which caters to the uh, men of the age 20 to 50. And uh, the president of this association of their politician has just officiated it. Does it bring credibility in your blog? You guys getting this? Do you have that? If you don't have, put a blog. The blog doesn't mean ah, you have to always every day blog one. No, don't worry, lah. You just block the things which increases your credibility. 
Because the moment people see faces, la, oh, the CEO got face one, not the five-page website about us also don't have the picture face one. You guys get, getting this conversion? Uh, simple, simple things like that. Okay, if you don't have blog, please put it in. And the blog which I'm talking about practically means abc.com slash blog. Don't go and say blogspot.abc.com. Uh, cheap skate like you. No money to buy a blog on your own domain. You guys getting this? Having a blogspot account is free one, no. And you're doing branding, you know. And when people say, hey, visit my blog, huh? my blog, blog is uh, uh, abc.blogspot.com. How do you feel? How do you feel? And I use uh, this email, which is also free one. Everything also I use free one. Wow, you don't have money to even buy your own, your own blog to put inside and, and brand it accordingly. Like, uh, let me just uh, illustrate it further for you guys to understand. Do you trust this? ABC being a hypothetical brand for your company, or do you trust this? Which one do you trust? No. You guys understand what I'm saying, right? Because abc.com slash blog is my own website domain containing my blog, containing and controlling and still managing the brand within my website. Blogspot, hey, visit abc.blogspot.com, that's my website. Cheapskate, no money to buy. Not very expensive for me, this thing. I think you can get how much are you get a student free. Serious? Your nephew and nieces. You get the Gen Y or somebody in your family to, to, that knows how to do these things. You can get it very cheap. Don't think about going and buy from the retail guys who charge you thousands of dollars. You don't. Okay, find a way la. Find a way to get it cheap la. Uh, there's, there's no fixed cost towards this one. You can get a full service interactive agency with 100 employees, it will charge you hundreds of thousands. You get a student from Help Institute or some, some intern from uh, whatever college. I'm not publicizing Help, uh, sorry. Uh. I don't know why that blurted out because I graduated from there. Okay? Any university students or intern who is studying computer science will know how to do these things. And if they are your son, free. Find a way, uh, you entrepreneurs. Uh. Okay, find a way. Okay? Blog. Then, so when you send traffic from Facebook, I'll send them to the blog first. La. Don't straight away send them to your corporate. Uh, I'm, uh, this company is uh, formed in 1978, blah, 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 blah. Nobody's going to read those things. I can tell you that. Send them to some exciting human stuff first. Then when they trust you, then you send them to a squeeze page. What is a squeeze page? You squeeze the first name and email in return for I give you a free ebook on gardening or on uh, uh, what industry you are in. You guys understand what I'm saying? Squeeze is basically squeezing your contact in return of me giving you stuff. Cool? Right. Okay, the, the cool ones basically understood. Like the rest, hopefully, you guys, good luck to you. Huh? Okay, right. <laughs> so once you squeeze their information, you put them into something called a sequential autoresponder. What is that? Okay, you have pre written an email, like 10 emails to send out to talk about your industry. Let's say, uh, I teach, let's say I teach online marketing. I have seven tips of in Facebook marketing, let's say. Each two days, this thing will automatically send you the email. Tip number one today, two days after that, tip number two today. Okay, and then your website should be tracked and analyzed using well, something called the tracking analytics reporting kind of stuff. It's, it's basically tracking how much traffic is coming in and how many people are buying stuff from you, okay? Obviously, you have your five page about us, boring content here. Lah. About us, contact us, product services, inquiries. Yeah. Getting this? Ultimately, when they trust you enough because they've visited your blog, they've gotten your squeeze page and your free ebook, they've gotten some good follow up tips from your company on your particular topic of expertise, they will somehow trust you enough to go to the payment page uh, to buy from you. That's how you build attention, like, and trust. Sorry, like and trust in this. Like trust buyer here, conversion. Uh. The next slide is we're going to talk about lead generation, which is the exciting stuff. Uh. But a lot of people forget this one, right? Very good in lead generation, but people just fail in conversion. Cool? I can't hear you. Okay. Okay. Can continue, huh?